So for the next part, let's go ahead and preheat to PLA. Print. I guess we'll start with this 25 benchy. We do have this pressure advanced calibration print here, which we'll see what that's all about. All right, so let's flip this thing around. I'm gonna load up some high flow filament. Or should I say high speed filament? I'm gonna cut on an angle with the cutters that came with the printer. And so let's see, how would this go? Okay, this is a switch type detector. I can hear the switch and I can actually see it because it's clear. And we can see that blue light coming on, but there we go. I'm guessing that's how it goes. And then I guess we go into this tube. So yeah, when you just need to push it through all the way, let's see here, until it goes through the whole system and then to the hot end. So you guys can't see this, but I'm gonna go to the screen and click on actions and then extrude and then click on load. All right, so it grabbed it. I can feel it pulling it through. Now, if we flip back around, we can see maybe, or maybe you guys can see, but the filament is coming out right there. And there we go, so it purged through, and that's what our mini looked like. We just click on load here, and it loads it. And unloading looks like is the same way. You're just going to click on load, and it's going to retract it. Now we can go back to our print file, and I guess we'll start with this 25-minute benchy. And we got to click on print. So it's going to confirm if we want to do that. And before we do, we go ahead and grab this burger out of here. I'm going to click print, and it started. You guys can see right there, so it's setting up. Okay, there we go. So I guess it needed time to heat up and whatnot else. So I'm hoping our Z-axis offset is good. If it's not, we can adjust it here in the fine tuning with the Z up and down right there. So, all right, so it started. I can't really tell, honestly. Okay, yeah, we are perfect, actually. So let's check out the menu here while it's printing. So we got the progress there, 8%, the file, name there. I guess supposed to be a picture here maybe, but there's not one on this one. The temperature, what it's at the moment, plus the target. Same for the bed. Here we have the speed. It actually shows you how fast it's moving. The Z so far, how much it's went up. Fans, flow rate looks like. Time passed, how much left, 22 minutes. Then we have pause, cancel, fine tune, and settings. So if you click on fine tune, here you can see you can go up and down with the Z. Also the speed and the extrusion amount. And then here you reset it to the default. And if we go to settings, okay, so here we can control a little more like the heat, the fans, and things like that. So, so yeah, pretty straightforward. And maybe you guys can hear it, it's actually not that loud. And if I close this, which for PLA, we shouldn't probably close it but it gets very quiet then. So yeah, pretty cool. You guys can see our benchy is moving along really quick. All right, so our little benchy's done, and we also printed the calibration or pressure calibration test, and we'll go over that in a second, but let's take a closer look at this guy. So yeah, it only took 25 minutes. It stuck perfectly, so you guys can see the offset was just right, and check out how good those layers went down. So this is matte PLA. It's high flow, and it's sitting really, really good. We have very minimal vibrations and very slight ghosting at, at this kind of speed is totally acceptable. Surprisingly, can almost make out the hashtag 3D Benchy in the back. Great cooling on the overhangs. Practically no stringing. Very clean. Box looks great. The roof, the chimney. Yeah, excellent prints. And honestly, for 25 minutes, this is one of the best I've seen in a while. When you print the advanced pressure file, this is what you're gonna get, a bunch of lines and a bunch of numbers, hopefully it's showing up here, that represent the line. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at the lines and see which flow is the most even. So we can see the lines kind of break up here. It's kind of hard to capture with all this glare, but you kind of see the lines are breaking up. And then they're kind of more fatter there and skinnier. So what you're looking for is a perfect line. And on mine here, it's somewhere down here because here we still have kind of issues. It's too thick here and then too thin here. And then this one starts to go the other way around. It's too thin on the bottom and too thick on this side. So we need to be somewhere 
I would say in this area here. So judging just by the eyeball, it looks like this line right above my finger right there, which will be about 0 0.018 or 0 0.02 probably be all right. So, and so where you'll adjust this in the Clipper software. So let's quickly hop over to the computer and we'll check that out. All right, so here we are at the computer and you guys can see we are on the King Grun LP1 dashboard of Fluid, which is the back end of Clipper. And all we are here is in a browser and right here where you would normally put your website or whatever, you're gonna put your IP address with a slash hashtag pound and another slash and it's gonna connect to your printer. So make sure your printer is connected to Wi-Fi. And this dashboard here is gonna pop up. So right on the front here, we have quite a bit of information we got the printer we can control it here we can see here the last file we printed pressure advanced here we got quite a few controls the flow rate the speed we can adjust our pressure control straight from here but I'm gonna show you guys where we can adjust that permanently and I'm not sure if we change it here it might be permanent too which would be kind of cool that would be quite simple but in any case here we have the graph of the extruders and some more temperature readings here I'm not sure exactly what these are for but yeah these are all controllable here we got macros that you can just push and it'll do. And the fan controls, the jobs. So this is so far everything we printed. The limits to the printer here, everything is turned up all the way. So if you want to preview a G code, you just put it in here and you guys can see it's going to give you the whole thing broke down of this file, which is quite a bit of code there. Yeah, so here on the side, we're on home. Then we got console, so nothing's here at the moment. And then we have the G code preview here. Jobs that we've done, the history, tuning, configuration and this is where you can go into printer config and here you guys can see it's the code to the printer so I just push command find on my keyboard and type in pressure and we can see here it starts to outline the word and we are on 0, 0.0 Three. And according to the print we printed, I think it needs to be 0 0.018. Or we could just go 0 0.02, but I'm gonna try this 0.18, and that's it. It's gonna ask us if we want to save the changes, yes. So we've now adjusted our pressure advance calibration. So here we have a systems folder, more things about the printer, how much memory it has here. So it's got 2.2 gigs free. Out of, it looks like seven, maybe, I guess it's an eight. And down here we got settings, which you can adjust quite a few things. So yeah, basically this is what Clipper's all about. The control or the full control to the printer. So let's go ahead and print something else. So here in the job section, we're gonna just grab a code and you guys can see it says to drag something in and we got this calibration cube code and we can see it right there. So we can click on it and click print. And that's gonna execute our print. And here it says the status of what the machine is doing. So yeah, we can see our bed is warming up and then the nozzle will be warming up. But yeah, simple as that guys. That's pretty much how you control the printer from the computer. Obviously you do need a slice. We're not gonna go over that today. Prusa Slicer has the King Room settings. You just download that and slice the G code. And then as you guys saw, we dragged it in here and started printing. So as the printer is getting ready to print, let me show you guys what's on the thumb drive. So we got a PDF which is the disassembly guide card, which I'm not sure why they put disassembly, but then here it says assembly. Disassembly, I guess, meaning like to release the X, Y, and Z that's bolted down. But yeah, it's basically the same card here. And then we have the manual that's in both Chinese and English. This English is upside down on this one. So they include an Orca slicer that you can install, and this is just for Windows, and also the Prusa slicer for Windows. We also got some kind of config file here, so, but yeah, pretty much that's it, guys. As we can see here on the dashboard, our print has started. It says here about how long it's gonna take, I guess about 18 minutes for this calibration cube, so I didn't slice it too fast, but I think it was 250 millimeters a second. But yeah, here on the thermals, we can see our nozzle, our bed temperature, and I guess there was also a fan temperature, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, you can set the targets here. And here we have a graph of where everything is. Simple as that, guys. You can also connect the camera to here with the USB and then also be able to monitor straight from here. And yeah, quite a comprehensive dashboard here with Clipper software.